Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was... I was only gone an hour. Checked your pulse? V... She's gone. How'd this happen? I don't know. Told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out. And I got back to... <laughs> Fuck. If I would just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. Won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch you 24-7. She made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we could do is treat her with some dignity. I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of death do you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bama Sig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. 
Oh, you don't need to talk. You did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days? Yeah. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So... I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Then why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average tricksy sleazebag. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him. But I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry. But uh, I'd rather be alone now. I promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but... Sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow.